Right, hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another match preview. Yeah, it feels like a long time. The international break has finally come to a close. Um, but this time we take on the league leaders. Um, it's Swansea City versus Leicester City in the Skybet Championship this Saturday, 3pm kickoff at the Swansea.com stadium. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Uh, into it. It's going to be a tough game uh, against the league leaders. You know, they've kept their main bulk of the squad um, after being relegated. They've got some top players. And they're already starting to, you know, run away with it. It's only really Ipswich keeping the pace with them, but I think they're even, a, you know, quite a bit, a bit of a gap between them and Ipswich. But um, yeah, I mean, as I said, it's going to be a very tough game. I think we can get something out of it, uh, but it's going to be a lot tougher than the previous four games to try and maintain this unbeaten run. But uh, yeah, what's your thoughts going into this game? Yeah, it's going to be a tricky game. You know, I think Moresca, um, you know, with, with the team he's got, I think he's doing very well with Leicester. Obviously, they have been able to keep a lot of their squad from last season. Obviously lost a few key players as well, but overall there's still a lot of players to choose from. Um, very versatile, they've got you know, so much experience in there as well. So it's, it's going to be a tricky game, but obviously we've won four out of our last five. You know, we're unbeaten our last five games. So I feel like we can definitely get a, you know, a decent result in this game. You know, it's not going to be easy, as we know. And I don't expect Leicester to just, you know, to just get one goal and then sit back and defend. I think they will come at us even when, you know, even when, when they go a goal up or something. So... Yeah, it's going to be a very tricky game. Yeah, and then now going on to the injury news and absentees then. So Luke will give you the Swans he wants to start with. Oh yeah, for the Swans, we've got Joe Arlon, Zim Abdullah, Nathan Woods, Josh Chanel, who's obviously out for the season, and then Kabanga, who's touch and go. And then if he's not available for this game on Saturday, then he'll definitely be available for the game on Tuesday night against Watford. Yeah, and then as for Leicester, they've got four players out. First one is Casey McAteer with a hamstring injury. You then got Doyle with a knee injury, Cannon with a back injury, and then Dennis Pratt also with a back injury. But now going on to the key players then, so if there's any Leicester fans watching this, I think these are the key Swansea danger men you need to look out for. First, I'm going to go with Charlie Patino. Uh, you know, he looks so com confident and comfortable and composed on the ball for how young he is, and he can create something just like that. So, yeah, I'm going to go with him. Second, I'm going to go with Matt Grimes, our skipper, so influential to this team and what we do. And third, I'm going to go with Jamal Lowe, who's had a very good start to his return. To the Swans, uh, I think three goals in four or five games were a very good start. But yeah, would you add anyone else? Uh, yeah, I'll go for well, the two players I'll go for is Liam Cullen and Jimmy Patterson. Um, I think Liam Cullen recently, the last few games, I think he's been very good. Obviously, got an assist um, against uh, uh, Plymouth when we last when you know in our last game. Uh, I think Patterson, obviously under obviously Ma uh, Michael Duff under our new manager, I think he's been I think he's been very really good. I think I think those two have a strong connection with each other. Um, and, you know, Patterson's really starting to enjoy his football again, which is good to see. So I'll go for those two players. Yeah, and then as for Leicester, first thing I'm going to go with probably the biggest shithouse in football, uh, Jamie Vardy. Uh, you know, I think he's great from both an entertainment and a football point of view. Um, and, you know, he's still producing. I know it's in the Championship, but I think he could do it in the Premier League given this age, to be honest with you. Secondly, I'm going to go with Keenan Drewsbury Hall. Again, definitely a Premier League level player. And thirdly, again, Harry Winks, definitely a Premier League level player, but he's chose to come down and play for a Championship team. And, you know, he's got plenty of quality. But would you add anyone else to those three? Um, yeah, I'll add four players. First, I'll go for is Steffi Mavadidi. Um, you know, he did very well last season for, uh, I think it was Montpellier, I believe, in the French League. He had a very good season for them. He did used to play for Arsenal before, but I'm guessing he just wasn't quite good enough at that point. But, um, you know, he had a good season last year, and I'm not surprised Leicester signed him. Um, and then I'll go for Wilfred and Didi as well. You know, been at Leicester for many years now. He's always been a good player, a good defensive midfielder. Um, so, yeah, he's absolutely solid, so I'll go for him. And then the other two I'll go for is obviously Connor Cody. He's obviously had some experience in the Prem and in the Championship with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, and yeah, he's just a good, you know, he's a great guy. You know, he's you know he's got good leadership traits, uh, and you know he's a good quality defender as well. So I'll go for him. And then another one I go for is uh, an Italian youngster they got called uh, is it Cesar Cassidi. I think that's his name. Um, I think recently he's been making some appearances for the Italian under twenty ones. Um, and you know he's a good midfielder as well from what I've seen in certain clips and that. Um, for him in the Leicester shirt. So yeah, I'll go for those four players. Yeah, and then the team line up I'm going to go with then. So in goals, Carl Brushworth. Right back, I'm going to go with Josh Key. Left back, I'm going to go with Christian Pedersen as he's back in for contention. Two centre-halves, I'm going to go with Harry Darling and I'm going to go with Bashir Humphreys. Three in midfield, I'm going to go with Matt Grimes, Charlie Patino and Jamie Patterson. Three up front, I'm going to go with Mikola Kukarevich, Jerry Yates and Jamal Lowe. But yeah, what's your line-up? Um, I, think, I think I actually would agree with that line-up. But then again, I think maybe, you know, it is about time Kukarevich gets a start, but... 
you know, I think the way Cooper made that impact uh, when he came on, you know, even though Patterson's been great as well, I think, no, I think I would do it. I think I'd drop um, Cooper Ravich and then play Ollie Cooper and then play um, Lowen Yates up top. Yeah, and then finally onto the score prediction then. It's going to be a tough game. I do think maybe our unbeaten streak might come to end, but mm, no, I'm not going to say we're going to win. I'm going to say a one-all draw. I'm going to say um, to score for Leicester, Jamie Vardy, and to score for the Swans, I'm going to go with Jerry Yates. But yeah, what's your prediction? Yeah, that was actually my prediction as well. I thought I think it will be a one-all draw. You know, like I said at the start, I think we can get some out of this game. I doubt we'll win. I don't think we're that good enough against, you know, a top quality Leicester side. Obviously, it's going to be a real test, but I will go for a one on draw. Uh, I think, yeah, I think Jerry Yates will score for us. And, you know, I agree with you, actually. I think Jamie Vardy will score as well. Yeah, obviously, once again, a massive thanks for watching this. We'll be back tomorrow with a match day vlog. So stay tuned for that and thanks for yeah, watching. Cheers.